we've talked about manipulating systems of linear equations. Let's now discuss that in terms of augmented matrices. That is to say, we've talked about taking a system and modifying it to get another system. Well, this system can be stored as an augmented matrix. And this system can be stored as an augmented matrix. So just think we can talk about going from system to system. We can talk about going from augmented matrix tricks to augmented matrix. The elementary row operations should seem familiar when I write them out. These are precisely the things I said we could do to systems of linear equations, except that I've um, replaced the word equation with row. So previously I said we could multiply an equation by a constant and add it to another equation. Now I'm stating that about rows. I said that we can swap two equations in a system. Now I say the same thing about rows. Finally, I said we could multiply an equation by a non-zero constant. Now I'm saying the same thing about rows of matrices. What do I mean when I say we can do that? I mean, doing any of these things clearly changes the matrix. However, first a definition, two matrices are equivalent. Sometimes we say row equivalent, but often we just say equivalent. If one can be turned into the other using elementary row operations, and notice the plural here, we might be performing multiple elementary row operations here. And now a theorem, if two augmented matrices are row equivalent, their corresponding systems of linear equations have the same solution sets. And this theorem is the basis behind the process we're going to see in section 1.2, where we learn to solve systems of linear equations.